I get a lot of questions about screens and people send me pictures of things all the time to say, you know, I've got this wonderful Japanese screen. And many times it's not a Japanese screen, it's a Korean screen or a Chinese screen or something else. And so I wanted to talk about just a couple of things. So number one, typical Japanese screens will either be two panel or six panel. Now there are exceptions, but for the most part, that's what you're gonna be looking at. And one of the reasons why that is, is because number one, four is an unlucky number, so you don't see things in four a lot. Although there were a lot of four panel pieces that were made to fit above a couch in the 50s and 60s and 70s. So you will find those all over the place. They're not very valuable, they're newly painted, they're not interesting. But six panel screens um, and two panel screens, one of the reasons why they have an even number is because when the screen is shut, you don't want to have any of the painting on the outside because this is what's going to get destroyed. And so uh, this is something that, you know, happens. And if that was the painting section, of course, it would be a problem. So two panels, six panels, most common. The other thing you'll see about them a lot is that they're flat on the bottom because they're sitting on top of tatami mat typically. So if you have legs, it's going to uh, pierce the tatami mat. And so instead you have a very, very flat bottom. Couple ways, and the other, the brocade is another uh, symbol that you'll see a lot on the screens. Not on all of them, but on most of them.